Hi, today I want to show you another baitfish pattern on my fly tying channel and uh, this is a very easy to tie small baitfish pattern. I think you will like it for perch for example, for bass, um, sea trout, any saltwater species which if you have to imitate small fishes. So that's very very simple and fast to tie so I will guide you through the materials I will use. So I use my Vivas thread in white. So this is the E0280 size. Um, I think that's a very very strong and nice um, thread so which I really like to use if I need to pull down material to the hook shank. Then I use this famous very nice angel silk which I like as a material. It's very very soft. So you can see that and has some angel hair in which um, gives it a nice glimmer and a nice flash effect. So I like the chartreuse here. This is, uh, I don't know, somehow light blue, dark blue. So I ha have that in different colors. I really like it. Then you use um, dubbing. So use this uh, UV shrimp shell pink dubbing, wherever you buy it. So um, this is from Hens, but I think there's other options too. And then I have this UV dub in color pearl. So UV ice dub in pearl, sorry. Um, as a hook I use this owner 50188 in size 2. And then some polar fiber. So you see it's coming on this um, in this size and then you simply pull out the hair. So cut it here and then take your velcro brush or whatever to um, brush out what you don't need on the material. And then I take some very nice fish skull living eyes and fire. So I really recommend those eyes, they're really really nice. Yes, so let's start tying the fly and if you like my videos give me a thumbs up. Thank you. So put your hook in the vise and then make your ground winding. Then pretty pretty simple just uh, use this um, ice stop here. Now do a little bulb of uh, the pink dubbing. I guess you can use what you want. I like always a little red in the fly. Brush it off. Then take the polar fiber. So you see, I comb that out with a Velcro brush. And then do the wing. Be careful not to cut your thread. I sometimes do that. <laughs> But uh, I don't like if it happens. Okay, now take the angel silk. You can nicely see there is this angel hair with this very nice, slim, fluffy and good playing fibers. Yeah, and the fly is ready. So it's uh, you could do it in probably five minutes. Place your eyes and then I secure the eyes with some UV glue. I hold the eyes in place and then I place the UV glue between the eyes. And then I cure it to keep them in place. Yeah, and then I do the rest of the head with the UV glue. I don't want to have a very big head here, just uh, more or less securing the eyes and the head knot.
you know, let the glue run everywhere and then cure it with your UV light. By the way, this fly is roughly four to five centimeter long. I come off the hair to, yeah, probably to combine the both materials, so the polar fiber with the angel silk. And also the angel silk tends to tangle a little bit in. And then, yeah, I, if you want, you can color the fly with water resistant markers. Sometimes I like to do that, not always, but uh, very nice fly, I think. Now I just uh, give a little clear vanish to the head and the eyes. And then the fly is finished and uh, yeah, the video is more or less over. Thank you for watching and have a good time. See you next time. Bye-bye.